Alrighty, welcome back. So I think now I need to adjust the... Oh, do I not? I was going to say, do I adjust this? Yeah. It wasn't giving me that interact prompt. Uh, close to overload, target not found, adjust. Alrighty, so our reactor is dormant. Uh, the MPT command is offline and the network is offline. So I guess I can go through this way, but it made it sound like it's about to explode when we first looked at it. Which could be worrisome. What is with all these body bag people? Who was going around putting them in their bags? And why is this one specifically so far away? It's got actually a photo and a necklace. I don't think the other bags had photos. And I don't know if I can research that at all. Maybe I'll learn more about it as we traverse through. Because this one seems unique. It's in a room all alone. It's got like extra stuff that I haven't seen on any, any of the other bodies. That seemed to be a very unique, um, I don't know, just body. Just a body bag in general. It's pretty bright in here. I don't need my flashlight. Caution, wet floor. Would I fall if I walked over it? No. But I bet these become electrically charged. So that might be a problem. Oh. I mean, yeah, caution wet floor indeed. The entire thing is water. Interesting. Um, shoot, so what do we do? I mean, I guess it's fine to go in the water now, but it won't be eventually. I'm just hoping it's not while I'm in the middle of the water that something bad happens. I want to check to see if any of these notebooks matter. It looks like they don't. And also, this person was just bored and stacking cups during what seemed to be a lecture about the safety of the earth. Can you please pay attention? I don't know why. I don't know why that's so difficult for you. Uh, I don't like sloshing around in the water, to be honest. Phase one, evacuation. East and west units cover the east and west side of the Tumba facility, respectively. Phase one is split up into six steps. A malfunction has occurred in the reactor. Round Tumba employees in your area. Resistance may be met with force only if absolutely necessary. West unit assembles employees to helium-3 storage to load all remaining canisters into designated monorails. When ready, wait for east unit. East unit leads employees to crew quarters and have them cleared out. Limit personal items to minimum. Only essential supplies are allowed on the arcs. When ready, move to the west unit. How hoity-toity do you have to be to name your ship the arcs? Come on. Board the employees onto the monorails. East unit escorts them to Copernicus Moon Hub. West unit splits up into evacuations crew 1 and 2. Crews 1 and 2 escort Helium 3 to Copernicus Moon Hub and extract Copernicus Outpost and Reinhold Station personnel. Isn't the Reinhold Station just that one dude? Phase 2 begins approximately 3 hours after Toombi employees arrive in Copernicus Moon Hub upon MacArthur's orders. West unit, East unit, backside, outward. So this is the operation. So this is where... MacArthur's task force came and they said, listen, yeah, look, it's on the board. They're like, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go get everybody and we're just going to we're just going to wrangle them all up real quick. This looks like story progress. But I wanted to listen to that. What a waste of water. People would kill for this on Earth. It's coolant. Water used for cooling the reactor. Some of the pipes must have burst. You think MacArthur left any helium? Uh, he wouldn't be so careless. But we should check, just to be sure. Go ahead, I'll join you in just a moment. Wait, where are you going? I'll assess the damage further on, see if the cooling is still operational. I'll be right back. I worry that he's not going to be right back. Even though I've been like firmly on the Isaac still kind of sucks train. For her sake, I feel like 
it'd be nice for him to come back, but I don't think that's what's going to happen. Also, I'm pretty sure I found helium in a lot of places. So MacArthur was actually pretty careless across the board, I would say. This looks like something I can examine, but I'm not allowed to. Is this Alex? Is that you, Alex? ASC Unit 2187, recorded July uh, 2054. Can I get that? Or do I need to bring, like, a different unit there? So if I install a unit on top of there, you could just watch videos back? Kind of like a, like a security camera? That would be interesting. Oh, there's some stuff. Do you have anything on the table to collect? This is just more outward stuff? No. Um, Lunar Colonist Dossier, Sarah Baker, Software Engineer, Lead Engineer, Station of Pearson, since 2048, Psychological Profile, Strong Sense of Duty, Intelligent, Inventive, Determined, Altruistic Disposition. Insubordinate. Performs reverse engineering on ASEs. Can potentially compromise outward. What a little dictator, dude. What an absolute little... Performs what now? Performs... Reverse engineering on ASE. So you're afraid that she can take away your weapon. Is that what I'm figuring out here? Is that he's worried that she'd be able to, like, keep him from having his militaristic style of drones or is it something else that he's concerned about also was that the only thing in here was just the tvs he was just watching everyone huh oh god that's me oh that's weird oh that's really weird okay wait where are you watching me from because the camera keeps shifting oh there's an email. MacArthur, I've been pondering the first phase of the plan. We must reconsider. The colonists haven't, have given up everything to dedicate their lives to keeping the MPT running. We should let them decide for themselves and come of their own volition. They deserve better than to be lied to about the state of the reactor. Isaac Johansson, Lunar Council. Isaac. This is a defining moment in history. The Exodus is humanity's second chance. The only one we're going to get. But the new colony cannot survive if we become splintered. We need strong arms, bright minds, and undivided commitment. We cannot jeopardize outward by leaving it to the whims of popular opinion. People need a reason to leave the MPT behind and we're gonna give it to them. It is for the greater good. There's that all-knowing greater good that nobody can ever pin down to what exactly the good that is greater is which is a fun sentence to say, I will admit. Wake Kathy up once we've begun phase one, then meet me in the monorail bay. When she's ready to travel, we have cryopods for her and everyone else in the arcs. I'll handle the rest of the evacuations. The end justifies the mean, Isaac. We do what we must to keep them safe, even if they don't understand. William MacArthur, Lunar Council. I mean, he probably truly believes in the bull honky he's spewing at this point. Because, I mean, from everything that we've seen, the MPT is unsustainable at its current rate. But still, he just seems to have given up and then decided this is his route. I, there has got to be something else here. Like, I, you've got to be able to do something else. What is the point of this if I'm not here to do something else with it? Is it supposed to show me that I could sit down on a different table? Maybe? I don't know. And then you have all these. See, like this. I would think that I could, like, grab that and then insert it into there because we saw on that sign earlier that that's where you, like, insert uh, the security protocols at. And maybe make it a friendly one? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything, though. I'm gonna go down the hallway. Maybe we can circle back. I am still wondering where those cameras were from. Actually, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up.
because it's all about these cameras and see how it's watching me from the back I don't get it wait wait Bobby is it you Bobby It's Bobby. He installed cameras in ASC units to spy on people, even their own ASC units. Well, we have to think Bobby's not mine. Bobby belonged to um, Laverd, actually. That's at the front of Tumba? Where is this one? There's an ASC unit on top of the stairs. There's ASC e units everywhere or just cameras. Let's go check. Let's go look for the one at the top of the stairs. That would be up here, right? I don't see it. No, it's not these stairs. It's a different set of stairs because there wasn't the big outward sign. I just wasted so much time looking around at cameras, but at least now I understand the idea behind the drones. I was confused. I was like, why is it showing me this? And where are the cameras coming from? But now it makes more sense. That one's busted, right? There's no fix in that one. Yeah, that one's busted. This is going to have electricity in it at some point. Um, oh, I have to get on the other side. <gasps> Look at the little rubber ducky. <laughs> That's cute. There's not a crouch button, is there? That's so cute. It's actually kind of creepy, too. Okay, so I need to get on the other side of this door somehow. Let's go underneath the bleachers maybe possibly this will let me in no it won't let, it actually won't let me through these have handles on them so maybe i can maybe i can pull something is that pipe go like is it possible to go in this pipe by chance oh it is for a second i didn't think it was possible to go in the pipe Oh, this is creepy. We need to get in this building for sure. Boop. Let's get in through there. This is like really surreal right now. Nikki. Something's off with the amount of moon rock we're putting in. We should be outputting a lot more helium-3 than what's listed on our charts. It's as if some of the helium is never registered. But that's against every protocol I can think of. Why would the Lunar Council sanction this? Julia. Hi, Julia. I'll admit the numbers are off, but let's not jump to conclusions. Dr. Johansson would never allow anything to jeopardize the MPT's energy signal. He's too committed to Earth. Still has family living down there, just like most of us. I'm sure it's some kind of mistake. Ooh, that's what we thought. But guess what? He's a dirty, rotten liar. And a dirty, rotten villain. With some redeemable story that I'm currently learning where he probably sacrificed himself out of regret and confusion and just genuinely a lack of not knowing what he should be doing at this point in his life MPT battery battery and dish Isaac Johansson so the battery is temporary storage the plant that's the whole facility the dish is high voltage emitter battery capacity is limited when full do not activate Reactor systems emit excess energy violently. Please be careful. That seems like it's gonna be important. Let's learn. Let's learn. Can I get that? Does that matter? No? There's a lot of stuff in here that I think matters and then I'm guessing it doesn't actually. Oh, this level's super freaking creepy 
He's like, I guess a, a pipe bust. This is one big pipe. Oh, that is messed up. Look at that and look at that other rubber ducky. I'm going to find all the rubber duckies. It's got to be a challenge. Or just an Easter egg they put in for no reason at all. I thought I needed to be in the... I thought I needed to be in my drone. I guess not. There's nothing back there, is there? That's where we came from. Eventually, we need to get inside that building. Or room. I keep calling all these separate rooms buildings. And that's just the wrong verbiage? Helium storage. See, he said that he probably wouldn't leave any helium, but it looks like... Wait, are these drones? Are these cameras? What is this? Why are some things red and some things aren't? Open the doors. Uh, all helium-3 canisters checked out for transport. Canister C5 marked for repair. Insert helium-3 into the reactor. Look for helium-3 in the monorail bay. So the helium-3 would have been inside of each of these. Can I go inside those? I can, but it doesn't really do anything, does it? They said C5. That's this one, right? And there's not a way to go through here and... and find anything, is there? Oh, there it is. But how do we get to it? Maybe not what I'm doing? Yeah, it's probably not what I'm doing. I probably need to pull this thing out. I'm just being silly. You see these scratch marks on the floor? What is this monster? What is this creature that we're learning about? Reactor cooling. D oh, okay. So this is what the pipes looked like? I don't, I don't understand. And I can't move that. There's some like real scratchy monster here. Which is probably just like something scraping across the ground like a piece of machinery. Or maybe something that was moved around. But it's creepy. It looks like a werewolf would have done something with it. What did we just learn about? Private whiteboard. Oh, this was in the bathroom. We never read about this. Whoops. Suspiciously hidden in the men's room, a whiteboard is filled with a number of disquieting calculations. Isaac Johansson's findings reveal a sober sobering conclusion. Given the reactor's production capacity and the limited amount of helium-3 on the moon, the MPT can't keep up with humanity's current energy demand. Humanity would have to change. I thought they are. I thought that was the plan. Did they think they weren't going to change after all this? Interesting. Uh, with humanity's survival at stake, MacArthur left nothing to chance. Having secured a backdoor in ASC units, he kept a watchful eye on WSA colonists from his observation center. When riots broke out in Tumba, MacArthur used the same backdoor to overload safety limiters and turn ASC units on their unsuspecting owners. <gasps> it was their own ASC units that turned on them. That is so sad. Over the years and off the record, small amounts of helium-3 were moved away from the Tomba facility to unknown locations. Slowly but steadily, the Lunar Council amassed a sizable supply of helium-3 with which to fuel the outward journey. When Tumba was evacuated and MacArthur unaligned the MPT and Copernicus moon hub, causing the blackout, only a small amount of helium-3 was left inside the reactor. As it ran out, the reactor would have sustained permanent irreparable damage if it hadn't been for Sarah and Isaac. So there's still hope, basically. And then this is from when um, she met with Isaac here. Upon her arrival, Sarah learns that the reactor is active but running out of fuel. She's met by a surprising stranger, Isaac Johansson. In spite of his key position on the Lunar Council, he's not aboard the Outward Arcs. As they re realize they share a common goal, they team up to stabilize the reactor before it destroys the entire facility. Um, interesting sidebar here is that his daughter is fully on board that ship, right? Maybe that's all he was trying to do was to secure passage for his daughter. And then he was planning on 
always trying to fix the reactor on his way out, but he didn't realize how bad it had gotten. Can I climb this? No? Do I, I guess I don't have a need to climb that? Interesting. All right. I was thinking I was going to have to send an ASC unit through there. But I guess not. Uh, those pipes I don't trust. There's the one that's broken. Oh, this does not feel like a good idea. What we're doing. I just don't like being in this water here. Alright. There's that one canister of helium-3. And that's the backup power. So that's going to electrocute everything in the water, right? Let's just see. Let's see what it looks like. Question, is this not helium-3? Are these batteries not helium-3? Also, I think I need to move this kind of to the middle point. So then not only can I jump from one to the other, I'd be able to jump. Yeah. Like from here. Could I jump? Could I traverse the gap, basically? I don't know, because I can't even get on the thing. There it goes. So I could go this way. Yes. Could I go the other way? I might not need to, if there's a ladder. Use your hands, you weirdo. What do you mean? Grab the ladder. Why is it not letting me grab the ladder? It's not like it's out of my reach. Okay, I guess we're fine. Here's to not getting electrocuted with our terrible platforming skills. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, that is terrifying. Oh, we made it. It's scary, but we did it. Reboot all systems. Systems not not... Okay, well, the systems aren't nominal, apparently. Whatever that means. Apparently that means that it's going to electrocute anyways, but it's going to keep stopping. So now it's a time-based thing, which is highly inconvenient for me, but very convenient for the gameplay mechanics. Oh, well, I guess we're here now. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Please. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, thank God. I have to push this back to get out of the water. I didn't realize that. And I, for a second, thought I was about to just die. I should have kept an eye on when this thingy... It looks like that thing that sparks is what causes this. I don't know if that's the case, though. But it looks as it gets closer to the water as to when the water starts to electrocute itself. We're through it now, though. At least one phase of said it. I'm sure there's multiple phases here. What is this? It's like a little crane? What is this? Does this have a use? Can Bobby use it? Can Bobby not use it? Just a random chair. I could sit down and wait for the monorail. Oh, there's another one. I was like, why is there only one chair in this station? Did they all fall in the pit? My battery's dying on my flashlight. And I don't really need it here. It's pretty bright on the station. Oh, the station's big. I'm afraid I'm going to miss things. I'm going to go back down for a second. I think every Let's Player in the world has that giant gaping fear that they're going to miss something crucial. And I don't know why we have that fear. But we try to be extremely thorough and extremely in-depth because I mean just first of all is like oh that looks lit up still but it's not it's just the angle 
as a gamer, I don't want to miss anything to begin with. A lot of ASC units. That one is a, what is that, a prototype? That's a pretty cool one. It looks like a prototype ASC. Or maybe they just have, like, different paints and things you could put on. That's a lot of oxygen, in case I need that. We know where to find all the oxygen, unless it's all dead oxygen. But yeah, we're all just, like, terrified we're going to miss things. And it comes first from a gamer, and then secondly from a, from a Let's Player thought process, I believe. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for the custom paint job on my suit. I love it. Enjoy my end of the bargain. It wasn't easy to find. Sarah Bacon, Pearson Station Lead Engineer. Did I miss something? Was it, is it the, the alcohol here? I thought it was going to be the box, but I guess it's not the box. I... I'm going to have to assume it's the alcohol at this point. I have no other... Nothing else is telling me that it's not the alcohol. Nothing off. Nothing else to go off of. Obviously, we're going to have to break through here. So that probably means going back. It probably means dropping the monorail on it. If I'm being fully truthful. I can't get up there because my character doesn't know how to use their hands and their upper body strength. Uh, there's something we can watch over here, though. Let's do... Whoa! That just got right in my face, didn't it? Isaac? Hey! They took it all! Storage is empty and... What's going on? Uh, stay there! Stay there! I just need to, um... Is that helium? No, it's... It's... Sarah, uh, it's for Kathy. Okay, she's she's waiting. She's on the ark, uh, and I just I just need to, to get this to her. Isaac, what are you talking about? Uh, three, three. We made we made we made three arcs for Outward. Yeah, they're gone. No, no, no. In the end, there was only enough fuel for two arcs. So so MacArthur moved the uh, the sick, the the cryo patients, to to the last one, uh, and Kathy Kathy's she's still on the ark, stuck here on the moon. Wait. But with this, uh, I can, I can, I Isaac, can... I'm sorry, but Earth is our first priority. Earth's beyond saving, Sarah. With or without the MPT, our only hope, Kathy's only hope is out. Listen to me. We cannot give up on Earth. It's our home. Kathy's home. And think about Claire. She's made her decision, and I, I can't go back to Earth. But with Kathy... And outward, there's a, there's a chance to start over, a new dawn. We do what we must to keep them safe, even if they don't understand. But we can be wrong, Isaac. You said it yourself. MacArthur's wrong. Sarah! Outward is wrong. Sarah! Everything about this is... <gasps> what? <laughs> I... Uh, I... Uh, you, you must understand. I, uh, I have to go. <laughs> Alex? Alex, X is that terminal. Send it off. Isaac? No, 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 no! Stay, stay with me. I'm sorry, Isaac. Okay, okay, go, go, go. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't, don't worry. It's the only way I could help. Even if you'd hate me for it. <laughs> okay, easy now, Sarah. Listen to my voice. Don't, don't close your eyes. Hey, buddy. Sarah. 
Hey, Sarah, no. Almost there. No, 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 no. Sarah? Sarah? It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Alex, no one needs to see this. Oh my god, okay. Um, phew, I have a lot of uh, just raw emotions here. Uh, that was probably the most gripping hologram projection we've had yet. First and foremost, I'm kind of glad they didn't redeem him. Um, my worry was that they were going to try to redeem him after all of he, that he's done. And instead, they didn't redeem him. And actually, in not redeeming him, they give him a purpose to stand on, which has been my, like, entire... It's been my entire issue with Isaac is that he has no ground. He doesn't stand his ground for anything. He has, he, like, he finally showed what his ground is. His ground is Kathy. Everything is for Kathy. You know, fuck Claire. Uh, fuck the Earth. It's all for Kathy, which is a pretty bold hold but the biggest like I would say the issue is I don't know if if I was in his shoes if I could do that because you're just condemning one daughter to, to death on earth while you're trying to save the other one but at least he had a point that he was holding on to and he had ground that he was ready to stand and why he is turning himself into the villain um I did not expect him to murder Sarah that was surprising. I didn't expect him to actually um, b be betraying them again. That was also surprising. I hate that his weird wishy-washy nature had a, a specific part where he's like, oh, what have I done? And then like tried to like make up for everything. Again, because he has this weird nature of like he can't control himself. He's just a, he's when we first discovered his message to Claire we discovered that I think my assessment was he's a broken he's a defeated man and that just rings so true right now I'm currently looking for the the area that she hid the last yeah the helium here I really liked how when she fell there was this blood streak already on the ground so in the hologram we see her fall directly where the blood streak is because that is the real life and now we understand this glove. If we had, if we had come here first and been like, "Why is there blood in the glove here?" and then watch the hologram, we'd understand that. That's actually probably. It's probably Sarah right there. Unless that's some other random person. Unless the random person way back yonder, if he took her all the way back there, that could have been possible. I don't really know. I don't know what he did with the body. I'd be interested to know. Okay, the Moonrail Access Terminal. The terminal has tracked in and outgoing traffic in the Monorail Bay. A logged command shows that a monorail was sent off with critical velocity, devastating parts of the area. Weeks later, the terminal has registered an additional and unusual activity. What was the additional and unusual one, I wonder? As Sarah rejoins Isaac, she catches him loading helium-3 tanks into a monorail. Feverishly, he argues that Earth is lost and helium-3 is better used for Kathy, who's on board an ARC the MacArthur left behind on the moon. When the argument reaches fever pitch, Isaac stabs Sarah despite her grave injury. Sarah distracts him, secures helium-3 out of his reach before she collapses. Almost 13 days. She lasted down here almost 13 days before she was murdered. And of course, um, when they were faced with the actual, I need that battery. When they were faced with the actual situation, because MacArthur was like, oh, we actually only have enough fuel for two. He did the for the greater good thing, which no longer worked for Isaac, which is, well, get rid of the sick. And that's like his entire reasoning of joining them. You would think you would think MacArthur would have been at least smart enough to be like, all right, keep Kathy on one of them, because then you don't have this like renegade guy just running around trying to figure things out. But at least now we also know why he's doing like why he's back. All right, I need the battery. These buttons, this button doesn't work. So the, I have two buttons that open up those doors. I, here I have 
some chair. Some chair. I don't know why I say it like that. Uh, phase one, evacuation. Evac two. So we've already read the evacuation. Evac two, outward planning demands we leave for Copernicus Outpost one now. As ordered, collateral damage has been managed, but some casualties and crew quarters are unrecovered. Please handle them with dignity. They deserved better. Outward, we rendezvous at Copernicus Moon Hub. So that's why. That's why everybody way earlier when we first saw the body bags and I was like, why are all these people in body bags? But why is there like a funeral proceeding look to it? And why is why is there not like one person not wrapped in body bags? Because it didn't make sense how everyone got in these bags. It was the evacuation crew. Like MacArthur's people weren't heartless people. They were just soldiers that didn't know the greater good. These are treadmills. They didn't know the greater good is some stupid facade. Um, I'm not going to be able to jump through these as treadmills. I wonder if Bobby can go reverse the treadmills. That would be my thought process. Um, or he can just open the door. That works too. Yeah, that actually works <laughs> much better. Just open the door for me. Because all I did was like ramble about the story that entire time, which I mean, fascinating in its own right. I know some people probably watching were like, can you please do your mission? Like, I don't care about your analysis, but I think, I think that's the whole reason you watch a Let's Player, right? Because that's the whole reason I watch Let's Players like nonstop is because they get provide this like input to a story. Usually the ones I watch, I watch games I've already played. I guess if you were watching to see... Oh, there it is. I had lost this bit. To see, like, a game that you hadn't played. Like, with Deliver Us Mars coming soon, there might be people out there that go, Okay, I really want to know the story, but I just genuinely don't have the time or the money um, to buy both Deliver Us Moon and Deliver Us Mars. So instead, I'll just watch the first one. Like, I could see that being an option here, and I could see those people going, please do the task. I've seen the story, now can you can you move on? Um, and I apologize if that was you. Not too much, though, because... How do I get through here? Because that's what my channel is. It is input and analysis and everything in between. How do I get in here? There's a trash dumpster here. Um, can I hold these to the side with Bobby? No, I can't. Treadmill going this way. I feel like I need to reverse something. Maybe. Let's go back for a second. Maybe there's a way to open this one up and reverse something over here. If we could potentially reverse the treadmills. There's a sound. I'm hearing a sound here. I don't know what that sound is. It's another thing to open. Um, all of this, it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like it does what I want it to do. I was thinking maybe there was a way in here to reverse the treadmill like across the board, but it, it's really not looking like there is. So I'm guessing that's not it. So it must be through here. There must just be a way. How do we do this? Because I can't just barrel my way through electricity. Unless this is supposed to be... Okay, see, I can't just do that. That doesn't work. I thought maybe if I like walked forward... at the hmm that doesn't work it feels like I would be able to get through there but it won't let me and the game isn't gonna let me use my like common sense which is to just like crawl under them I 
I'm actually genuinely confused. Oh, no, I'm not confused. I'm an idiot. I got to take this battery out, don't I? But now that I'm in here. But how does one take a battery out with you in here? That thing's pulled. Can I leave Bobby in there and then pull the battery? Bobby, I'm gonna need you to go somewhere really far so I can pull this battery out before you get back. I'm gonna leave you here. Please don't come back. I look like I'm abandoning him. I promise you I'm not, buddy. Now, you're in this room. What does this do for me now? Uh, it turns out nothing. So it must not be the answer. I thought that was going to be the answer. Alright, I may have to think about this for a bit. I'll check in with y'all once I figure it out. Uh, there's a cut in case of emergency back here. So I'm guessing I need to figure out how to get back there. Instead of what I was thinking. And maybe once I do that, I can come back out from the other side instead of trying to rush through all that. Because if I go with the the helium three first, then I might be able to um, I might be able if I go with the helium three first to push this out of the way. Oh God, Bobby's still stuck in there. Shoot. So I guess I need to figure out I guess how to get to that point. Come on, Bobby. We got some stuff to figure out. This doesn't make a lot of sense. This part doesn't make a lot of sense either to me, though. It's like, it's almost like I want to have something sitting on this. And that way I can get through, but I don't know. I don't know what I could have that could be sitting on that. I don't think I have anything. Where would that fan be? That fan would be. If it's behind there, it would be up here. So yeah, I need to go there first. Maybe there's an item I could place on top of the button? Somewhere? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I had to Google this one. I, I have been here for like 40 minutes trying to figure this out and I was like, I think I'm just dumb. I was like, I, I know you have to put something on there, but I don't know what you could put on there. And I didn't think you could put a, a helium cell on there, mainly because I tried to go into the unit and hold it down with the unit. And that didn't work. So I was like, it, what do I put on the pressure plate? Like I Googled it. I was like, Tomba reactor. What do, what item am I putting on this pressure plate? And it was like, use the power cell. And I was like, the power cell? That's enough weight? I didn't know that. I am an idiot. So now, but that's all I read. So no stress on like, I didn't spoil anything for me outside of what item to put on top of there. And now that I'm assuming I'll do that with the dead power cell and then put this one back in its area. I should probably go pull that button again, eh? Because that'll open up the door one more time. Because imagine if I go all the way around and then don't even open the door. All right. So I'm guessing I go through there, cut the back vent that we saw earlier. And then... From there, get the... Oh, I need the power cell at this door. I thought I was going to have to have the power cell the other one because I wouldn't be able to exit out of the other way if I don't but I guess maybe I don't need to exit I I don't know this part's been really confusing to me and it could be because it's like 3 8 no 2 a.m. my time I mean that's a high possibility or I could just be a big old dumb dumb dumberson which is another possibility now, they're not going to let me just get trapped in this room, are they? 
Like, if I was to fall down there, that would trap me if there's no exit. And I do not have that door open. Well, hopefully I'm not stuck. I guess if I did get stuck, I could always just push this bad boy back. Oh, you know what? Doesn't this um, treadmill start working? Oh, okay. I didn't even think about using the treadmill in a manner until just now. Like that. I think you have to have all the wheels on the treadmill. At least you would in real life, because if you don't, then those back wheels are just going to spin. <laughs> they would just spin around. And then it wouldn't... I it might make progress because I have four of the six wheels on there. But... It might not make progress. It might just spin in the same place. I don't know how realistic this game is on that regard. Turns out it's been pretty realistic about a lot of other things. Like, um, I put in a comment on the last video, but helium-3 is actually a true isotope that is on the moon. And um, I don't know if it's harnessable energy or whatnot. Um, I don't know if... It, I know if humans could find a way to harness it, they definitely would. And then... The Tomba reactor, like this whole facility, is potentially, I can't say for certain, but it's potentially named after um, an astronomer by the name of Tumba, who discovered Pluto. Alright, I need this to go up here, so I can cut those cables up there. Man, I did so much exploring. Oh my god, that looked insane. No, don't roll away too much. I did so much exploring in those 40 minutes that I jump cutted away. Can I not get up here? Hello? There we go. Like I sent the drone everywhere I could think of and one of those places was here. But I didn't see anything on this side. So I don't know why this side exists except for maybe to like reinforce you from over there that like, hey, maybe you should go check out this, this upper area. Oh, well, I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? This is just the monorail, right? My, like, where I'm standing is not going to break. <laughs> the Helium-3 is running away, and I just cannot have that. I can't, I can't let you do that, buddy. I need you for the whole reason we got here. Oh, you know what? That's why this exists. It's a shortcut. It's just a shorty cut. Interesting. Yeah. Oh my God, I almost died. I didn't think that fall would kill me. I didn't even think that fall would hurt me, to be honest. So only one piece of the monorail, um, Bell. Like we only got one car is all we needed. Wait a second. Is this the reactor? Dude, that's super convenient if this is the reactor right here. But also pretty problematic because doesn't that mean that this is going to explode? Activate reactor to commence energy production? Oh, I think I might die here. Oh, I'm getting so much radiation. So much radiation. That's just a door. That is not what I thought it was. I need to get behind something. Oh, you gotta, you gotta duck and weave here. When you're behind something, you're fine. It seems. When you're not, you're gonna get killed by like... I guess a microwave. Because that's what this is. I don't... Oh, please. I don't exactly understand it. Oh, it's it's rotating. Maybe I, maybe I just go with the rotation. Stay in the shadow, you dum-dum. Wow. I was just out there running through the sun instead. 
Can you imagine? Can you imagine an idiot like me? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna need to stand behind these, I think. I hope this isn't timed. Okay. Super convenient. But yeah, I guess I really was just running through a microwave. Which, you know, I wouldn't suggest to anyone. Why am I in here? Oh, go up. Well, that seems like a problem out there, doesn't it? Yep. This would have been a really good time. The game should have had some, like, hold elevator music during this. That's not... Okay, well, that's not good. What is this? A helium. What is this? Cut in emergency. It's cut. Now what? Oh! Oh, Jesus. Do I go down here? What? Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I, I'm not close enough. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I had the gap. I thought I was, like, right where the gap was, and then I just... I wasn't. I was not where that gap was. Good to know. Good, good to know. Glad that exists. All right, we're just gonna wait for the next one and then we're just gonna try to run through. Maybe we can just run through. Oh wait, this is where the gap is, isn't it? Makes sense. I'm an idiot. I'm not, I'm not picking up the visual cues as easy as I should be. I'm doing very stupid things instead. Like getting my noggin bopped right off the map. I think I need to go all the way back here. This could be quite dangerous. Uh, if I go down, it shouldn't hit me. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I may be dead tomorrow, but I'm alive today. Oh, oxygen. Cool. Can I get some of this? Give me that sweet, sweet O2, please. And then we're just going to keep going. Um, give it a little, little trollop. Perfect. I'll have to cut that. I can... I thought that hit me. Oh, this is going to hit me because I didn't move. Ugh. That is so big. Like, that is nastily big. Can I cut this from here? Oh, I wonder if that explodes. You know how savage that would be? They have, like, a little, like, bomb in that little red area. All right, I'm going to wait for the next one. I'm glad the my ASE units, like, I understand the mission, too. I understand that we stand in the place where that doesn't hit because I do not want to be whacked around like a tether ball or a ping pong ball, really, with the look of it. Actually, it does kind of look like a tether ball, too. Okay, so that is electric. So, oh, so we're j playing jump rope now, which is, I love jump rope. Actually, this might be the easiest little piece of this crazy platforming puzzle. It's like an electric, like, hedge trimmer. Like, with that little sound, you hear it? This is. Um, shoot. Okay, where am I going now? <gasps> oh, over there. Okay, that's a long jump. Hoping for the best. Oh, that's right. We don't have gravity now, so it's a little bit easier. That's actually pretty cool. That's a. Good thing we don't have gravity, I guess. Sorry, did that say something on the edges? I feel like I missed it be like, cut this. Because I had that like, yellow, black, like, striped caution tape looking thing. Oh, give me this. I have no idea what percentage are, um... Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> okay. I was sitting there, I was like, why is that um, next to me? Like, what, what is this thing? 
And then right before it went off, my brain was like, oh, that thing's bad. Like, that's an exhaust fume. And then as soon as my brain thought that, of course, I, um, I died. Because I didn't think about it in enough time to actually do anything. Uh, pfft. what am I doing? Oh, I'm going back this way now. Can I jump that? No, not really. Interesting. But I was gonna say, I wonder, like, what the time... Like, what percentage do we think the NPT is at right now? Because I'm assuming the game mechanic is not, like... It's not one where it's like, oh, okay. Oh, I could just go around this way. It's not one where it's like an active timer. Like, you know, some like Metroids and different games and like Ori has a, a moment where it's an, a timer and or... System integrity at 60%. Releasing reserves. NPT overloading. NPT overloading. Pull the switch, my guy. You okay? Oh, did that rupture his suit? That must have ruptured his suit. Am I still trying to do this? No? I think I'm trying to get through here. I think um, what I was trying to say is, is what we're experiencing right now, it wasn't doing that earlier. Like if you got stuck in some of those platforming areas, you were just kind of stuck in those platforming areas till you got to it. And then once you got to the, the next area, it was like, oh, 60% left. Jesus, I'm gonna die. My suit is ruptured. Uh, yeah? How much, it, like... <gasps> oh, I'm realigning a beacon. To Earth, I'm assuming? I don't know why I'm going the opposite way. <sighs> there it is. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Jesus, don't pass out on me, Rolf. You got this, buddy. You got this. Everyone, everyone's here, man. You are saving the entirety of Earth. Isaac Johansson was wrong about one thing. There are heroes, and it is you. You are the hero. No, you're good, you're good. Stop wavering. Hey, come on, buddy. Come on. You got this, you got 40 seconds. We're just gonna stay in that little no 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 stay over here stay over here yeah yeah stay in stay in that bubble you got this no 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 I don't like this we're playing a weird game Rolf I know that you're like dying of oxygen deprivation I get it oh it was almost there now it's like rapidly depreciating there we go good job you saved the world Am I, should I be doing something? I thought I only had 10 seconds left. I... Oh, there's a button. Jesus. Never, never even saw that lever. <laughs> Rolf is out here giving his entire life and I'm like... I'm like trying to watch a cutscene. I'm like, what? what's happening?
Way to go, Rolf. Way to go. Oh, I'm alive. Is this, is this, I can't believe this. We're receiving. We're receiving energy. In back online, the MPT is transmitting. All systems are running. Global reception levels are rising. You died, There's another, there's another hologram. We can get closure with what happened to Sarah. And that's kind of half of the reason why Rolf's here. Like, yeah, there is the saving the earth aspect, but there's the entire what actually happened to her aspect, too. Oh, I think he collapsed. Get up, get back up, buddy. You got this. Whose room was this? It's kind of nice. And they would have had... Sorry, excuse my dying real quick. They would have had a fantastic view. Look at that view. That's such a great view. I don't think the game's actually going to kill me. I think it's just going to make me pass out every now and then. Wait, is Sarah alive? <gasps> is she in cryo? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh... Is she savable? Whoa. She's been in cryo this whole time? She was stuck on the moon with no one to take her out of there. She would have been in cryo forever. Also, I did not get everything I wanted to get. I know I missed th some things I had to have. But dang, 
what a cool game also what a lackluster response when i saved the earth i was like there you go rolf you did it like what the lamest response ever for saving the world while dying i also found it comical that like he was just holding in his oxygen and that 10 seconds i had left lasted for a very long time because once the countdown went away, it was it was it was pretty funny. I was like looking out the windows and stuff. I was like, "What's going on out here? This is a nice view." Um, but yeah, I did really enjoy that game. I can't wait for Deliver Us Mars. We're we'll doing Deliver Us Mars um, once it releases in February. We're not gonna waste any time. I'll probably do one series in between the two. Um, either I'll do a series or I'll do a one shot. One of the two. But I really loved the story of this game. I love story rich games. I think that's my bread and butter. It is it's the games I most enjoy playing are all story based, story rich, intensive games. And then add in this like flare of space that I've fallen in love with recently. And it's just chef's kiss. Tier 3 to ground control. We found them. Claire? Claire? How did they get another ship that quickly? Or were they coming to recover my body and this had maybe been years later no because the ice is still like the cryo sleep is still thawing wow that is interesting that's that's actually really interesting did they already have like a backup ship or as soon as like things went off the rail did they have like a oh you know what it was probably i don't know with the mpt connected how do you get a ship that fast do they just have leftover ships there's a lot of questions there Interesting. That was... Uh, the, the cinematics in this game have been chef's kiss. Like, they're chilling. They're amazing. They give you a sense of, uh, like, a feeling of an emotion. It evokes, like, something out of you. Not all games are able to do that, so I applaud them massively for that ability. But if you enjoyed this series... Uh, feel free to give it a like and, you know, subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing, like I said, we'll be doing Deliver Us Mars and we will be doing um, other games on this channel too. And I would assume that y'all would be interested in those too, maybe. I do a lot of story-rich narrative games. So if that's your cup of tea, then come sit down. Stay a while. Besides that, I hope you all have a fantastic morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time of the day it is. For you out there. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.